Hi everyone. Now we will talk about localization in Laravel. So first we will understand what is localization, how we can publish localization file in Laravel, how we can create new folders and file for localization, how we can use localization in view files, how we can change default localization and how we can change localization for some specific route and at last we'll discuss some important interview question also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel project, job and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. So let's move on first question what is localization. See localization is a feature of Laravel that uh, provide multi language support to the Laravel project or Laravel application. For example, you want to provide five language support in your application, maybe for Hindi, English, Mandarin, French and Korean. That can be done with the help of localization. And now maybe you can ask one more question like why we want to provide five language in our Laravel application. See, maybe you want like if your application is uh, open in the Korea, then it should be visible in the Korean language. Similarly, if uh, your application is visible in uh, is opening in the uh, France, then it should be visible in the French language. Similarly, for India, it should be open in the Hindi and USA, it should be open in the English, right? Uh, second thing, maybe you want to provide a uh, option to the user like they can choose the language for your application. Like they want to see your uh, application in the Hindi or Korean or English and in Mandarin, right? So these both thing can be possible with the help of localization okay so now the second point what is like publish localization in laravel see in the previous version uh, localization files are uh, by default available in laravel project but now you have to run one command to uh, see the localization file in laravel right so what is that command let me show you and i will also show you like what changes will be uh, display after the uh, publish localization so right now here you can see that in your application we don't have any lang fold folder there right so lang folder is basically responsible to display the localization in our project so let me uh, stop this uh, uh, artisan server and then you can run there php artisan then lang and then colon publish like this so whenever we will uh, hit enter you will see we have one more folder there with the name of lang. So in this lang folder, we can create uh, multiple folders according to the language, like how many languages we want to support. So let's say if you want to support five languages, then you have to create five folders according to the language. So by default, this is the dummy localization and there is only one folder created inside the lang, which is en. That means all of these four files has the English string. So similarly, so let's say I want to support Hindi also there. So I can create any other folder. For example, I want to uh, create a folder with the name of HI. Even if you want, then you can uh, create a complete folder with the name of Hindi or only H also. You can uh, keep any name to that folder. This is uh, doesn't matter. Okay, so let's say you want to create one more folder for Korean language. Right, so now we have three folder, one for English, another for Hindi and third one for Korean. That means we are going to support three language to the our, our application. So these are some dummy, uh, you can say that uh, uh, strings available, right? Or dummy uh, localization available so that we can take reference from there. And they are also just uh, used in some places, maybe for validation or something, right? But this folder will only available whenever you will run this publish command. Otherwise, this will not available. Keep in mind that. Okay. So where I want to use this uh, localization. So see, right now I have one page which is, uh, okay, let me just run this PHP artisan server again. And this is the welcome.php, right, which is available inside resources, then views and there. So let me add some string. We will use this localization in two files. One is welcome.blade.php, another we will create one more file, maybe about.blade.php or something. So there what I'll do, I will just put their h1 tag and just say, hi, how are you or something, right? And then again, you can create one more, welcome to the home page or something, right? And then we can maybe create some links, maybe for about page. Okay, let me create one more about a route, php, artisan, make, view, about right 
so i will just create a about link and let me add some br tag also so that uh, we can maintain some space so i have three anchor tag also for let's say home contact us and about so just i'm creating these random things so don't worry about them so if i will again open a browser you will see we have this this kind of stuff on the welcome.blade.php so i want to make a localization for all of these files right but similarly there is a one more file which is blade dot uh, about dot blade dot php so i'm just putting there h1 tag and there i will mention this is about page right and let me create route for this route then view and then we can say that about and our view name which is again about so similarly i will just open one more route there so that will be let's say about so both page are visible there so we will apply the localization on the both of these files so next thing that we need to do uh for this one right i will create one more file you can create any file name maybe welcome or home or about whatever you want but i will just make it the name welcome.php because our this screen name uh view file name is also welcome right so i will just create welcome.php inside english language right and now i will create a php tag inside this and then inside this i will return something maybe let's say return i will say a return we have to array and inside this we'll say welcome and then we'll say welcome to the website or something like this right okay so we just need to remove the question mark from there and from the at the last we have to use just only uh, but still there is a red line for our, yeah actually i just forgot i have to use their arrow not only equal to right now this is working fine so similarly i have to create this welcome dot php file inside hindi folder as well as for korean folder also right keep in mind the file name as well as key name should be same right so before that let me create some string for first one second one and these all of these things right so welcome to the website let me change it with the hi how are you so let me change it with this then uh, i will create some more strings let me copy and paste then heading i'm just putting their heading tag and then we'll change it with the welcome to the home page something like this and then we have uh, these three strings about home and contact so let me make it about home as well as contact like this all right so and similarly we have to change the string also let's say about then home and last one is contact us right so all strings are ready for this page so now let's copy this file let you can directly copy this file right or just copy let me show you on the with the right click i'm just copying this and pasting inside our hi folder similarly i will paste it in the korean folder also uh let me paste it like this now inside the hindi folders these uh, keys should be the same but these things should be replaced with the hindi string so what i'll do i will use their google translator so i will just say that english to hindi and then i will say hi how are you pasting there hello kya hal hai that we will just place this after that welcome to the home let me replace it again and let me change for about also k bare mein it's not like say we'll just put there bare mein and then for home
and last one is contact us. Right. So I'm using their contact us. Perfect. And now we have to change this string to the uh, Korean language also. So let me change the Korean language. Now for contact us, we have this one. So I will open the welcome.php for Korean folder. Then home. Then about. Then we'll say for heading also we have to change. Welcome to the home page. And last one is hi, how are you? So let me change this one also. Like this. All right. So now we have all three languages, but by default, you will see that still our uh, English language be visible. Why? I let you know. But but how we can use these strings? The question is this. So now go to the welcome.blade.php and simply with this string. For this, what string we have? We have welcome, right? This is the key. So what you need to do there, just simply use double curly braces and close the double curly braces. Then double underscore you have to use. After that, this braces and inside this file name first dot your key name, which is welcome. So now you'll see still you have the uh, same string. So you are not sure like this is coming from the welcome or anywhere else. So just put their dot at the last three dot at the last. And now you'll see they are coming from this file only, right? So this is the one thing proved. So now you can just copy it and paste to the, uh, that other thing also, right? So let me just paste now use their heading. Ah, there is a one more thing head is head h should be smaller because this is a standard like we should be use small h with the keys and let me change it with the uh, Korean and Hindi language also right but still you can see the same thing is visible there but how we can be sure like uh, the localization is properly working or not see why en folder uh, strings are visible reason is let's open the dot env file and now in the app locale, you will see that by default folder name is en. So if I just replace with the hi and you will replace it. Now you can see that they are coming in the Hindi language and that's how uh, localization works, right? And if you will just mention their ko, then you will find the Korean language is coming there. All right. So now you can see that uh, this let me open the blade.php. So let's change these three things also uh, with the uh, localization and the keys of these are about. So let's change this about after that home, home. Yeah, this one we have to copy and then contact. And now you'll see that everything is coming in the Korean and if in the env file I'll just make their hi then it will be replaced with the Hindi and if I just make it en then definitely it will be visible in the English alright